Hello everyone, in this video we're going to set up multiple GitHub accounts with SSH on the same computer. And it's going to be pretty much the same whether you're on a Windows, Linux, or Mac machine. So that doesn't matter too much. And the, they're both, the SSH folder is always in the home folder which for here is like users slash your name. But anyway, the we're just gonna get right into it, but I'm gonna start from scratch. So check out, check out the timestamp if you already have an SSH key set up with GitHub and you wanna skip the first part. So the first thing we'll do is create an SSH key. And we're gonna do that with this command here, SSH hyphen key gen hyphen T RSA. So hyphen T is the type. And so we're using the type of RSA and then hyphen capital C is a comment. And so you could use your email address. So like your work email or your personal email or whichever email you're using for this account. And so I'm just going to use a test email. So I'm going to make it main account at email.com. And I'm hoping this test email will just work, but we're going to hit go and that's going to or enter and it's going to create a file okay so enter file in which to save the key and so this is going to save it to my c drive users john dot ssh id underscore rsa and for the main account that's what i want i want the id underscore rsa and this will overwrite an existing id underscore rsa file so be careful of that i hit enter i'm not going to use a passphrase you can do whatever you want with that. I'm not sure the ramifications of using a passphrase, but I see a lot of people just use it blank, leave a blank. So anyway, we have our SSH key now. So we should be able to check in our SSH folder. And if you, oh, I'm just gonna open an editor. And we should see an ID underscore RSA and an under IDRSA pub file. So dot pub for public. Okay, so we have that. The next step is to set it up on GitHub. So I'm gonna go over to my GitHub repository or my GitHub account. I'm gonna go to settings and then down here, SSH and GPG key. We're gonna set up a new SSH key and I'm gonna name, I'm gonna give it a title to describe the computer that it's set up on. So this is my desktop home computer. That should be sufficient for myself. And then I'm gonna use the public key. So id underscore rsa dot pub. We're just gonna grab all of this, copy it, and then we're gonna paste it into this key here. So add SSH key. Okay, so we have that, and then now we need to add it to our SSH agent. And we can do that with the ssh-add command. And there is some troubleshooting that you may need to do. I do have a blog post. There is a, or, there's a Stack Overflow post here on in the article that I wrote. So if you check out, I think it's this one here. This is updated 2019. Basically, you just need to make follow these steps here. And then I had to restart my computer afterwards, but that seemed to help solve the problem. So check that out. Basically, you just need to have SSH agent installed and then also make sure it starts when the computer boots up. That way you don't have to remember to start it all the time. And that should help with any sort of issues with SSH add. So once you have that resolved, we can run SSH add. And where did my terminal go? Right here. So SSH hyphen add, and then the path to the file that you're, or the, the path to the RSA file. So I'm already in the .SSH file, or folder. So I'm just going to say ID underscore RSA. And it says identity added and it's got it understands, you know, the, the note here. So that should work. So now we can try to add or we can try to add a repository. 
with this account. So I'm going to click on the home page. I'm going to add a new repository. So I'm going to say main test, create repository. OK. And then I'm going to go to the desktop, CD desktop, make dir main test, CD main test, and then code. I forget my commands to add a file in Windows. So we're just going to do it the long way. Test.txt. OK. And then hi. OK, so we saved that. And now if we do git init, git add, git commit m, first commit main. OK, git status. OK, so we're good. And then now we just need to add it remotely. So if you make you want to make sure that SSH is selected. And then we can do git remote add origin, just like normal. OK, so I'm going to paste that in. OK, that added it. And now if I do git push origin master, we do a refresh. And we have our text, our test.txt file. So that works. So our SSH is set up with GitHub. Now we just need to do the second account. So let's go. We basically just have to rinse and repeat at this point, and then we'll add the contact the config file. So the next step is to SSH keygen. Oops. Hyphen T R S A hyphen C. Other email at email.com. All right, and then enter the file. And so if we were to do it this way, it's going to overwrite it. So we don't want that. We want to make a different ID RSA file. So, um, and this is going to, if we were to make our own file like hello, then it's gonna put it in the current file or the current folder that we're at. So you wanna include the path as well. So users, John, dot ssh and then id underscore rsa i'm going to call it other leave the passphrase okay and so now if we go back to our code editor with all of the files are the ssh files we have id rsa other and id rsa other pub so that's good that's a good sign that it's working so now we need to add this to our other GitHub account. So I'm going to log out. I'm going to log in to the other account. And then go to settings and SSH, new SSH key. And this is still my desktop home. And so now we can copy and paste the public file again. Where'd it go? Okay, ID RSA, but not ID RSA, we want the other file that we did here. I'm going to close those out. Oops, and that's my private key. We want the public key. So ID RSA other, copy, paste that here, add SSH key, OK, so now we have a separate SSH key for each account. And now we need to add this one to the SSH agent. So we're going to do that just like before, SSH hyphen add. And then we also, once again, have to use the path this time. I don't know if we did last time either, but we're going to want to use the path just to be safe. So SSH add, and then C colon users john.ssh what is it id underscore rsa underscore other but we want the private key so we're not going to do the dot pub because that would be the public key so we'll get rid of that oh i messed up oh i see john is it that i think it's this I hate windows okay identity added and I think that means we're good, but we now, because 
now GitHub would be confused, so, or the computer would be confused, so we have to figure out, we have to tell the computer which one that we're going to use. And we do that with the config file. So over in our .ssh folder, which is usersjohn.ssh, that's the folder that I'm in with this text editor, we're going to add a config file. So new file, config, no extensions or anything like that. And then we're going to add our blocks. So I'm going to say this one's a default account, main account. I'm going to do another one for the other account. Okay. And then we're going to say host github.com host name github.com user get identity file dot ssh id underscore rsa and then it's going to be the same exact thing almost Okay, so this time down here, because it's the other account, we're going to be using not github.com, but we could do github hyphen other. You can name this however you want. And this is how you're going to identify the part after the at sign when you're doing the remote pushes. And I'll show you that in a second. But we've got hostname github.com, still stays the same here, but it's just this that changes. So host github hyphen other, and then we have to have one for each. So this one's going to point to the ID underscore RSA, and this one will point to the other. So underscore other. And I think that is all we need. So I'm going to save that. And then now we should be able to make a commit or a push. Oh, I did add the identity added for the other. OK, so we're good on that front. And then we have the SSH key on this one as well. Okay, so we are ready to make a commit. So let's go create a new repository. And I'm going to say other hyphen test create repository. Okay, and then do 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 cd out of that make dir other hyphen test cd other hyphen test. I'm going to open a folder. I'm going to create a file, other.txt, and then hi. OK, save that, close it. And then now we need to initialize git init, git add, git commit m, other account commit. Okay, so git status. I think we're good on that front. So we've made a commit, but now we need to push it to the remote repository in this other account. So the way that we do that, and we have this other hyphen test folder here. So what we need to do is basically just do this remote add. So git remote add origin. Oh, and make sure you're also on SSH right here. So git remote add origin, git at git hub, but it's not going to be dot com. Right here up until the colon is going to be the host, the host that was set here. And so it's github hyphen other. So that's what we're going to put github hyphen other and then colon so now we, and then it's just the rest of it is the same. So fast penguin 91 slash other hyphen test dot get. Okay, and then now we can get push origin master and cross our fingers. Okay, refresh. All right, so that's good. And then the other thing that you want to make sure is that. If I was to go back to my other, my main account, the Truth Seekers account, they're both going to be pushed by the same. And that's because I personally have a global config set up for the user. 
So if you were to want, you know, each user to be accurate, you'd have to figure out, okay, which which remote repository does this repository get pushed up to, or which account does it get pushed up to, and then you would have to use a git config user dot name, and then you know enter the appropriate name and user dot email correct email. So that's what you would have to set up on a per repository basis. And so that's pretty much it. But I hope that makes sense. Basically, basically I just took a screen, screenshot here so I can explain. But basically what's happening is when you're setting up this Git remote ad, you're telling the, you're telling which remote repository. So like in this case, it's fastpenguin91 slash other hyphen test. So that means that on locally on my computer, on my local computer, this here is the repository right here that's going, that it's, this code's going to get pushed up to. And then when I use the host, so github hyphen other, it looks at the config file and says, okay, I need to use this RSA other. So it sees this ID RSA other, and then it goes and it checks the public key that's been set here on this account's settings, and the public key will match this private key. And so because it does match, then it's able to make the request and response cycle. So it accepts it and then it takes the code. But if it didn't match, then it wouldn't. And so then with the other account, it basically does the same thing, only with you would, you would use github.com, just like normal, and then it would check this ID RSA. So that's basically all that's happening. And then... Now you have two GitHub accounts set up, and this should work for like GitLab and Bitbucket or whatever. It's pretty much all magic's happening in this config file. So I hope that helps. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when we release new tutorials. Also be sure to like the video and leave a comment to let us know what you think. Lastly, check out the link or links in the description. We usually create a blog post to go with the tutorial and we might have a newsletter or course or something to check out as well. Have a good day and I'll see you next time.